This is an overview video of the Infusion Keyword Tool. So once you've logged into your tool, you can come over here into the SEO suite and you can come into Keyword Tool so that you can access this. Now, one of the really nice things about this tool is that we designed it to be multi-location, meaning that you can track different keywords in different locations all on the same website. For example, you can see here that we have two different national campaigns running and we have one local campaign. You can run as many different campaigns as you want until you hit your limit for the number of keywords. So we can go in here and we can put, let's do Cleveland Digital Marketing, United States Local, and we can put Cleveland, Ohio. So what this is going to do is it's gonna tell our um, keyword, to our rank checker to look as if your um, IP was based in the Cleveland, Ohio market in order to find out specifically how we rank there. Now we haven't added any keywords to that group yet, but let's go in and let's dive into the keyword tool. We're gonna to start by going into all keywords. So you can see all of the different keywords that we're tracking. You can see the Google rank, Google maps, Google mobile, mobile maps, Bing, Bing maps, the number of visits, conversions, um, and a lot of other different data points. Some of the points that we'd like to point out is our algorithm, Albert, uses um, this field here, buckets, to determine which keywords you should be working on and um, by how long they've sat in a certain group of rankings, top three, four through 10, 11 through 50, 50 plus. That way you can algorithmically define where you've done work in the past versus where you need to do work in the future. You'll see all the different change in rank. You'll see the different URLs that rank. Pretty straightforward keyword tool. We do differentiate between target keywords and secondary keywords, primary keywords. So target keywords are the ones that we're telling the algorithm to keep track of, meaning do we want to be applying SEO effort to those keywords? And we'll show you exactly how to set that in a second. So we can look here that our target keyword groups, now we can go into manage keywords. So let's say that we've done, we built this keyword digital marketing Akron. We wanna go in and we wanna add um, digital marketing, Akron. let's just do marketing agency Akron. I can add that in, oops, that's a landing page, sorry. Add more Akron, Ohio, and click update. I can add those keywords in. Now the next time the keyword tool runs and we'll go ahead and get the rankings for those. Some fields that we do use, we do like to see that every keyword group that you're actually trying to rank for has a landing page that is specific to it. Um, this is a dummy account, so you're just seeing a couple fields entered in. To add a new group, you just go here, you fill out you, some of the things that you have to have. Let's see here, so we, we put this new campaign, so let's do digital marketing Cleveland homepage HTTPS infusion.com. And let's say that yes, this is a target keyword, so we want Albert to help us optimize for this. The next is competitor tools. So you can put in your competitors and you can track your rank versus their rank for all of the different keywords. This is really big, like say in uh, enterprise marketing or when you're trying to work with a net new client, you can say, who are your competitors? You can go in, what keywords you wanna rank for. It'll show which competitor is actually ranking better. Um, you can see it for all, you can see it for primary keywords. You can always open up the graphical representation tool so that you can see how people are tracking over time. This is where you would enter your competitors. What's really nice about this is that it's going to allow you to pull all of the keywords that a competitor ranks for pretty efficiently. So let's go in and let's go digital marketing accurate. So we've already got, there we are, number one, Sage Rock. Let's do weird views. Let's go website. Let's grab their URL. Let's go ahead and add them. They are in the United States. Let's put maybe, we'll pull up the 5,000 keywords and we'll click run. Okay, keywords successfully added. Um, weird views ranks for 194 keywords. Um, we can go through that and we can sort. Let's get all of the keywords on here. It might take a second, there's a lot of them. We can sort by cost per click. Yep, sorted by the way. 
so we can find those high value keywords. We do have our own commercial intent engine, which will allow you to sort, um, giving you the highest commercial intent keywords, meaning those most likely to generate revenue. Um, now, just because the Sage Rock, the Keurig, why do people buy it? I don't know if they do marketing for Keurig, um, but that came up, position number 91, so it's not really doing that much good. You can see your ranks versus all of your competitors' ranks. You can see where a lot of their traffic comes from, so we can see that Wired Views actually drives 100% of their web traffic from Akron Web Design, so that's what they're really working on. Next is rank versus target. And what this is, is that the, when you deal with larger clients that have a lot of pages on their website, you'll sometimes find that the page that they want to rank doesn't rank above the page that is currently ranking. We see this a lot where when SEO professionals, well, when SEOers do things wrong, notice I removed the word professional, and they're trying to rank the homepage of a website, and it's outranking the landing pages that are, that are set up. That's a problem. You want to go in and fix it. It's good to know that so you know where to concentrate. Executive summary, this gives you your look over 90 days, 180 days in one year. Um, this is really designed for a lot of our enterprise users. And then keyword history, it's just a charting tool that you can do over 180, 90 days, 180 days in one year. It's a graphical representation of how your keywords have improved in rank over time. You can go back to all campaigns. You can go in and just look at specific keywords. This is really good if you're doing multi-location marketing so that you can go through and you can work specifically on the keywords that relate to that market. Um, you can rerun your keywords manually, which will give you new ranks within 24 hours. Other than that, the ranks run every Sunday um, around 2 a.m. in the morning. And then they're complete by the time you come in on Monday morning so that every week you've got new ranks. It'll show you when it's doing the change in rank between previous and last, the next scheduled. And then there is some AdWords data in here, plus such a search volume and things like that that was last updated on that date. All right. Thank you.